Get ready to uncover the shocking secrets and scandalous downfall of a household name in Martha Stewart. The scandalous downfall of a domestic diva. Prepare to be captivated as we delve into the dark side of the seemingly perfect empire built by the queen of homemaking. From lavish living to insider trading, this gripping story exposes the shocking truth behind the polished persona. Are you ready to witness the shocking downfall of a domestic diva? Martha Stewart, the definitive American woman of our time, has captivated millions with her modernized approach to homemaking. As the first self-made female billionaire in the US, Martha is celebrated by both men and women for her remarkable business acumen. She possesses an unparalleled drive that pushes her to the brink, but sometimes that relentless ambition can lead her astray. Martha Stewart's journey took a dramatic turn when she faced accusations of insider trading, lying and obstruction of justice. A woman who had always done things her way, she believed she could escape unscathed. However, she resorted to changing testimony and evidence, ultimately sealing her fate. In celebrity, image is everything. But what happens when that image is shattered? Can it ever be rebuilt? You be the judge. From perfectionist to prison, Martha Stewart, the embodiment of excellence and control, transformed a basement food catering business into a multifaceted company worth millions. However, her insatiable need for perfection and a growing ego and empire made her challenging to work and live with. As she famously declared, Martha would do as she pleased, even if it meant risking the decades-long growth of her company for an illegal stock trade in 2004. She was found guilty of obstruction of justice, making false statements to federal investigators and sentenced to prison. Many believed that no amount of damage control could salvage Martha Stewart, the person and her company. However, Martha had other plans. She yearned to return to her productive and everyday life, exciting work and future business opportunities. From humble beginnings to the iconic American woman, Martha Stewart's success was not handed to her on a silver platter. Despite being an icon to the middle and upper class, she had to work relentlessly to achieve her status. Her journey began at 10 when she started working, an astonishing feat. Born to middle-class parents Edward Kostura and Martha Ruszkowski Kostura, she moved to Nutley, New Jersey at three. Martha's father, Edward, played a significant role in shaping her character. He nurtured her and instilled in her the belief that she could achieve anything as long as she worked hard. Growing up in the 1950s, Martha honed her skills under the guidance of her parents and grandmother. Her mother, fondly known as Big Martha, taught her the art of cooking and sewing, while her grandmother passed down the knowledge of canning and preserving. From her father, she developed a deep love for gardening, Martha's path to success. Perfectionism became ingrained in Martha's psyche. Her father's unwavering pursuit of excellence influenced her greatly, forming the foundation of her psychology. Anything less than perfection would ignite her anger and dissatisfaction. Martha's sister, Kathy, often remarked that their father instilled in them the belief that they could achieve more than most people. As a result, Martha's entrepreneurial spirit manifested at an early age. She began babysitting the children of affluent families, including notable figures like players from the New York Yankees. This exposure to the wealthy world left an indelible impression on her, later finding expression in her magazines and lifestyle choices. In 1959, Martha enrolled at Bernard College in New York, the most prestigious college for women then. Her excellent academic record secured her admission, and she supported herself by modeling. Modeling not only helped finance her education, but also boosted her self-confidence. Martha Stewart was a knockout in her 20s, often compared to Jane Fonda in her younger years. In her second year of college, she graced the pages of Glamour magazine as one of the 10 best-dressed college girls. Love, marriage, and ambition. Martha met her future husband at Bernard, Andy Stewart, a 23-year-old Yale law student. While Martha attracted many suitors with her beauty, Andy's serious nature appealed to her the most. In 1961, at age 20, Martha defied her father's wishes and married Andy Stewart in a modest ceremony at St. Paul's Chapel at Columbia University. It was the first time Martha had gone against her father's expectations, as he'd hoped she would finish school before settling down. Martha graduated from Bernard in 1964, when Andy completed law school. The couple welcomed their first and only child, Alexis, in 1965. After dedicating two years to full-time motherhood, Martha returned to work. She embarked on a journey to become a licensed stockbroker, enrolling in a course at the New York Institute of Finance. In 1967, Martha obtained her license and subsequently joined the boutique firm of Monus Williams & Seidel, a rocky start in the catering business. 
In 1975, Martha Stewart, known for raising pigs and goats and making cheese in Connecticut, shifted her focus to domestic pursuits. She embarked on a journey to become an expert cook and started a catering business in her basement with a fellow model and friend. However, their partnership could have been more lived. Martha's friend later revealed the challenges of working with her, describing her as complex and even secretive about taking side catering jobs. Tapping into the appetite for gourmet cooking despite the setback in her partnership, Martha's talent for gourmet cooking was recognized. She set up a table at the local common market, selling high-priced goods and quickly gained notoriety for her food. The demand for her meals grew so much that she had to hire extra staff to keep up. Martha's culinary skills caught the attention of magazines, and she was asked to write regular columns, transforming her basement business into a full-fledged catering company and a series of columns in various publications. The Birth of Martha Stewart, Inc. In 1977, Martha Stewart decided to consolidate her growing ventures and established Martha Stewart, Inc. Her catering business, gourmet foods, and magazine columns were now under one brand. Around the same time, her ex-husband Andy, who had given up his law career and ventured into publishing, played a significant role in Martha's career. Martha catered several of Andy's publishing parties, catching the attention of Alan Merkin, head of Crown Publishing, who offered her a book deal. The Cookbook and the Kmart Deal Martha Stewart's entertaining cookbook was published in 1982, becoming a bestseller and capturing the opulent lifestyle of the 1980s. In 1987, Martha made a lucrative $5 million deal with Kmart, becoming their national spokeswoman and designing an affordable line of exclusive products for the home. While her upper-class fans were initially appalled, Martha's vision expanded to include products accessible to a broader audience, revolutionizing the 100% cotton sheets market and offering a range of homeware items personal challenges and triumphs. Personal challenges and triumphs behind Martha Stewart's business success lay personal struggles. Her marriage to Andy faced difficulties as he felt criticized and controlled by her perfectionism. The couple eventually divorced, with Andy marrying one of Martha's assistants. Martha's relationship with her daughter also changed, with Alexis aligning herself more closely with her mother. Martha's dedication to her business continued, and in 1990, she convinced Time Warner to publish her magazine, Martha Stewart Living, which became an instant success. Controversies and Legal Troubles Martha Stewart's journey to success was not without controversy. In 2002, rumors of insider trading emerged, alleging that Martha had engaged in illegal stock trading. Her friend, Samuel Waxel, the CEO of Imclone, shared information about the company's impending decline, leading Martha to sell her shares. She claimed innocence, citing a pre-arranged sell order, but investigations revealed contradictory evidence and eventually led to her conviction for securities fraud, perjury, and obstruction of justice. The Rise and Fall of Martha Stewart Martha Stewart's relentless drive propelled her to become the first self-made female American billionaire. However, her pursuit of perfectionism came at a cost. Accusations of being a tyrant and a bully haunted her, and her personal life suffered. The legal trouble surrounding her insider trading case tarnished her reputation, but she remained a symbol of entrepreneurial success. Martha's story serves as a reminder that even the most accomplished individuals face personal and professional challenges along their path. Stewart's post-prison resurgence after serving her sentence for securities fraud and obstruction of justice, Martha Stewart faced the daunting task of rebuilding her brand and regaining the trust of her audience. Determined and undeterred, she embarked on a journey of redemption, showcasing her resilience and unwavering commitment to her craft. Recognizing the power of media to reconnect with her audience, Stewart strategically utilized television as a platform for her resurgence. She launched The Martha Stewart Show, a daytime talk show that delved into cooking, home decor, and entertaining. With her trademark warmth, expertise, and attention to detail, Stewart once again captivated viewers nationwide, reminding them of her exceptional skills and passion for all things domestic. Martha Stewart, Living Omni Media Underpinning Stewart's post-prison revival was the establishment and growth of Martha Stewart, Living Omni Media, a multimedia company encompassing various aspects of her brand. From publishing books and magazines to producing television shows and digital content, this empire became a testament to Stewart's unwavering entrepreneurial spirit and ability to adapt to changing times. From setbacks to success Martha Stewart's ability to transform setbacks into opportunities is a testament to her enduring impact on the business world. Her post-prison resurgence serves as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, resilience and a steadfast dedication to one's craft can lead to remarkable achievements. 
Stuart's journey is a source of inspiration, illustrating that with determination, reinvention and a commitment to excellence, one can rebuild and thrive no matter the challenges faced along the way. Martha Stewart's remarkable journey of redemption and reinvention has captivated audiences worldwide. From her post-prison resurgence to her unwavering dedication to her craft, Stewart has repeatedly proven that setbacks can be transformed into opportunities for growth and success. As we witness her enduring legacy unfold, it's clear that the magic of Martha Stewart is alive and thriving. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this. Thanks for watching.